Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Sagittarius, this is your reading for the month of September 2021 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid, okay? Also Sagittarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Sagittarius, there is an extended reading for this one and if you are interested in the same, if you are excited to know what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and your person, you can go ahead and you can check out the link that has been provided in the description box and also in the comments section. Okay, alright, so... Uh, now, as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, Sagittarius, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person. Okay, so let's get started now. What is going on with you, Sagittarius? Spirits, please tell me what is going on with Sagittarius. Spirits, please tell me what is going on with Sagittarius. Spirits, please tell me what is going on with Sagittarius. Spirits, please tell me what is going on with Sagittarius. Spirits, please tell me what is going on with Sagittarius. We have Queen of Cups. We have his Two of Wands. We have his Knight of Cups. We have the World. We have Ace of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. We have Knight of Knight of Swords and Eight of Wands. Okay. So Sagittarius, you may be dealing with Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. You may be dealing with. Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. If the sign pops up all the better, let's not remain fixed on the signs. So Sagittarius, we have Queen of Cups, Two of Wands and Knight of Cups. So Sagittarius, we have some beautiful spread. However, like with that Two of Wands, and I'm getting very strongly attracted to the ocean and the waves and the shore over there in this picture. Can you, are you able to see this, this ocean wave and the shore? I just recalled one proverb, okay? Uh, however, it's in a vernacular language, it's in Hindi. I'll explain that in English. But it is very apt to the situation or to your ongoing situation. Just a sec. So my Indian counterparts will understand this. I'll read out, uh, I'll read this out in Hindi, but I'll also explain in English. Just give me one or two seconds. So the uh, shairi, the uh, the proverb in Hindi is, जाने क्या सोच के लहरे साहिल से टकराती है और फिर से लौट जाती है समझ नहीं आता कि वो किनारों से बेवफाई करती है या फिर लौट के समंदर से वफा वफा निभाती है. So now uh, what the author is trying to say is the author is basically considering three entities okay one is the ocean second is the waves okay yes the author is considering waves have their own existence because their job is different than the ocean and then the third entity is that of the shore okay so the ocean waves and the shore what does the waves do they kiss the shore and they go back okay they kiss they come back they kiss the shore but they make sure that they go back and merge with the ocean right so but however this activity goes on back and forth back and forth this activity goes on so the author is just wondering that he doesn't understand what is the role of the waves okay whether this whether the waves are loyal to the shore or they are disloyal to the ocean he doesn't exactly understand that and that's what exactly is going on with this two of wands in your life you don't understand probably there was an existence of a third party in this situation Sagittarius and you you are absolutely uh, at loss to understand whether your person was disloyal to you or they were loyal to the third party or they were disloyal to the third party or they were loyal to you because ultimately ultimately you you have understood that your person has some serious player tendencies they cannot be loyal to you and they cannot be loyal to anyone else as well so the question of uh, loyalty or disloyalty doesn't uh, doesn't arise because this person can cannot be loyal to anyone else with that queen of cups look at the way this queen is looking at that cup okay 
you definitely had a lot of love for this person but at the same time now that uh, you are not allowing your decisions to govern by the emotions you are also allowing your heart to govern the uh, you know you are also allowing your head to make some rational decision making you are thinking sagittarius that uh, it was a waste of time you had love but it was a waste of time okay and now you are thinking that you want someone who will deserve this cup you want someone who will deserve your time who will deserve your love who will deserve your uh, who will deserve your uh, what shall i say uh, who will deserve who will deserve whatever you want to give okay so basically you are you are like you are trying to convey to the universe i don't want any flighty character popping up in my life with lot of intensity but no substance i see you doing a lot of self talk whenever you are alone in the room you are talking to yourself or you are talking or you are you are doing certain talks as if you are talking to someone as if you are talking to the spirits who are present in your room as if you are talking to the ancestors who are present in front of you as if you are talking to the universe who is just sitting right next to you that sort of a talk you are doing and there is a lot of self talk that is going on you are like questioning to the universe like this is, do you think this is what i really deserve do you think that uh do you think that uh don't you think that i deserve better people in my life and finally universe is like okay i understood what is going on now let me send you someone who who is a perfect match for you so with that knight of cups i see that someone who is very sincere with their intentions someone who will love you from the bottom of your heart someone who will make sure that you are happy is going to enter in your life and yes this is going to be a new person okay as far as your person is concerned we have world we have ace of cups and we have a seven of pentacles this person was they had some uh, they definitely had some clear tendencies but this person didn't realize that they were falling in love with you <clears throat> this person was confused for a very long period of time and trying to understand their feelings okay but i see that this person is trying to get a grip of their own emotions they are trying to get a grip of their own life they are trying to get a grip of their own feelings and they are finally understanding that they have fallen head over heels in love with you sagittarius okay and this person basically was trying to find you and everyone else so this person i feel with that world card they have closed certain relationships in their life okay and there is a possibility that the third party relationship have been closed down okay they intend to come towards you with a with a cup of love with an offer okay but they also have their own serious doubts because they know what they have done with you okay they know how much they have hurt you they know how much they underestimated you they know how much they they know that they have inflicted a lot of pain on you okay so they have their own doubts sagittarius with that knight of swords and eight of wands someone is rushing towards you with a communication okay a past person or maybe uh, maybe a new person is popping up in your life but things are going to things are going to move pretty fast between you and this new person like there will be once the the moment you guys meet you guys will understand that there is something substantial that is going on and both of you will be extremely excited to discover more and more about one another both of you will be extremely excited to spend more and more time with one another okay so that is going to lead to a lot of lengthy conversations hours and hours of talks dating in next two to three dates you will decide that <clears throat> let's get into relationship in another next uh, like you know i see sex happening very fast over here i see uh both of you start both of you will start living together very fast i see a combination of fire earth and air okay and uh, yes this person may also have uh, this person may also have some water placements but a strong presence of fire and air okay all right and uh, to be very honest the new person looks very sincere 
okay i am getting an energy that this person is going to be very protective about you they're going to be very possessive let me tell you that they will not like especially if your ex is trying to come back this person will take your ex left left right and center oh my god this person because you will share your story with this new person and then they will have a lot more sympathetic attitude towards you and they will have that accumulated anger inside them for whatever that ex did to you and if the ex uh, pops up in your life and if this person is there at that time oh my god this person is going to vent out their absolute anger and uh, they will not allow your ex to come near to you okay they are going to be very protective very very protective this person will shoo away that ex all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below also if you are interested in the extended reading link is in the description box and in the comment section uh, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and your person i'll also pull out some oracle cards and we'll see uh, what is the advice available for you for your life in general okay all right bye bye then